up on this one real quick, man. We making history. History. Doing what we do best. Flipping the game upside down. Mood change. So kind of Talk to me more about you and what you're doing. I'm sitting Absolutely. Absolutely. That's Layla Steinberg, y'all, by the way. But do your thing, get comfy. Okay, She allowed us to video when in any ordinary situation, I have to earn my right. My name is Conrad Van. I'm a spoken word poet. And this is the Pico Youth and Family Center, promoting peace, unity, and social justice. Y'all stay tuned. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Augustin J. Garibaldi. I am at 715 Pico Boulevard in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> this is a project that supports Pico Youth and Family Center and in coordination with Mike Sessions, brought to you by the legendary Miss Layla Steinberg. Late, great Mr. Tupac Shakur. Stay tuned. And I don't care what they say, and I don't care what they do to me. Because they don't have to love me. And you don't have to love me. I do it all my own. Se baja, My name is Conrad Van. I'm a spoken word artist. This piece is called Impressive. We should be aiming to please our God and driven by a healthy self ambition, but psh, we've created a new mission. Here's what our minds have told our hearts to do I want more people to like me, so try and please everybody, everybody except for God and you. And call my bluff. Oh, you really want proof? Give me a minute, I'm going to outline my premise for you. Because most of us can be likened to a double-headed coin. We're two-faced. Trying to pretend we have value, but our personality changes. When we're around different groups of people, we can act so fake. We need to be who we are. Really. All the time. Continually. I sound cliche, huh? I hope I do. Because I'm not trying to impress you, rather I aim to leave an impression on you. We were supposed to be a consistent line all the way through, but we got off track because we wanted to people please. And other people got off track, guess they had the same priority. Now all of these lines have become entangled in a huge knot. And you wonder why so many of us feel trapped being somebody we're not. Huh. Many of us are stuck here. The truth is the only thing that will unravel us. Lies will keep us enchained in bondage. Let's be intentionally truthful. Some of us, maybe for the first time in our lives, come on. We say things like, I love famous people. No, we're amazed by popularity because many of us don't have the heart and sincerity to take care of ordinary people. We change our syntax from, I can't wait to go to this event tonight. Yup, yup, to... We in there like swimwear, turn up, and the phrases we use and the lyrics we refer to will constantly change as we grow up because there'll be new groups of people we want to amaze. In social media, we're careful what we display and before we post it, we double check what we type, driven by a false perception. You know we do it for the likes. A lady will come on another lady's picture and say, wow, girl, you look so cute today. 
in hopes that when she posts a photo, that lady will comment reciprocate. My friend Max mentioned, the fact that we frown upon prostitution, yet we've allowed prostitutes to set fashion trends and solutions. Red lipstick, high heels, a short tight dress that exposes the back, the navel area and the breast. Is, is she a prostitute or a princess? In some cases, they dress so alike it's hard to tell the difference. And guys want to walk with a limp. Because growing up, their role model was a pimp, not realizing that 10 years back, that man with a cane was shot in his leg. And on the surgery bed, the surgeon inserted a screw into his leg. That's why his walk is off and a little different now. So why are you emulating an injury you don't have if you have two healthy legs? Just walk normal. We want more people to like us, so we don't talk about our failures in the past. We mention our success in the future. We talk about our dreams. We hide our current hurt and embarrassment because many of us have low self-esteem. We say, I don't want people to see the ugly part of me, so I'm gonna mask it by only showing the highlights of my personality. And my call to you all is let's not send our lives around showing off of the person we're attracted to. Nor should we aim to get our friends and strangers to awe at our talents and what we can do. Rather, let's turn our attentions to the heavens so we can hear a well done, my good and faithful servant when our life is through. Paul paints it clear in Galatians chapter 1 verse 10. A servant of Christ does not seek the approval of men. So be you. You have nothing to prove. Be you. You have nothing to prove. Be you. You have nothing to prove. Because trying to be someone else or living your life solely to please someone else will only bring stress. Ask yourself this question. Who am I living to impress? Stay tuned.